and something again very important do not use a picture that you used in previous applications you are going to be disqualified So guys, we are talking about completing your diversity visa entry thingy for the year 2023. We are talking about green card. This video is for those who plan to move to America, okay? And those who know someone somewhere, who also knows someone somewhere, would like to immigrate to America. Hi guys, welcome back to Accord TV and if you are meeting for the first time, my name is Accord and in today's video, we are going to talk about green card, which is like the talk of, should I say the town? or the world or yeah everyone is talking about america at the moment and yeah i figured some of you are asking please give us details about the american green card and that is exactly what i'm going to do now so remember to like the video comment if you have any question if you don't have a question you can as well just put a heart down there so i know that someone watched and they liked the video okay so when you like the video then i know for sure that you like watching this kind of videos and i keep uploading more now let's get into what you are meant to be doing right now. When you are making your application for green card, number one, this is the website you're going to use. That one. That's the official website you're supposed to use. And to make the application, please note that it is absolutely free. I've gotten a few emails, people asking, how oh, I've there's this website oh they're asking for this much they're asking for this much and those websites are actually really really well done so what they're doing is they tell you to hurry green card applications finally open the year 2023 then they give you like rates and the more you pay for the application the higher your chances of winning guys this thing is very simple if you don't know how to make the application watch the video i'm going to share down in the description box below i'm going to share that link so if you're not sure how to make the application you can watch that video it's a step-by-step -step thingy and we know that before you make your application you will definitely need a valid passport so the first thing you'll do you'll fill in your names your names your official names exactly as they appear on your passport if your name appears on the passport as wanjiko 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 Make sure you fill your names like that, Wanjiko, 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 in that order, exactly as it appears on your passport. That is very important. Don't interchange them exactly the way they're organized. Waboy, 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 or atieno, otieno, otieno, in that order. Once you do that, you're good to go. The next thing when you're filling in the form, it's going to be gender. Are you male or female? And in case you have both, what do you do in case you have? Choose one. Choose one that you resonate with. If you feel you're more of a woman or if you feel you're more of a man, choose one and just go with it. Here, at this point, these people just need to know your gender. Are you male or female? What do you identify with? Then after that, your date of birth in this order. The day you are born, the month you are born, and the year. Okay? And for green card application, there's no much drama like trying to migrate to Canada. They have no age limit. Even if you're 90 years old, you're welcome. Next thing you want to fill in is city where you were born. Don't go guessing city where you were born. Just take your passport. You'll have indicated somewhere where you were born the city. So make sure you match that to your passport. The city where you were born. If you are a Kenyan, were you born in Mombasa? Were you born in Nairobi? Were you born in Kisumu? Wherever you were born, just fill in those cities. And if you're born at a place, let's say Nakuru, which is basically a town, okay? You may want to ask yourself, okay, Nakuru is not a city. Do I just fill it in? Fill it in, that's where you were born. Just write Nakuru and make sure it matches with the information you have on your passport. Next, country where you were born. Where were you born? In which country? If you are currently living, let's say, in Uganda and you were born in Kenya, make sure you indicate that you were born in Kenya. That's very simple. Moving on, you will need to fill in country of eligibility. There are countries which are eligible for green card application, the diversity visa, and there are countries which are not eligible. If you're not sure whether your country is eligible or not, please check in the description box down below. I'm going to share a link to a video which I made, a very short video. I think it's just like two minutes. Then you can check if your country is eligible or not. So this is what you're saying. Country of eligibility is the country where you are born. Okay, next, you'll fill in the passport number. You know how to find your passport number? Somewhere on the main page, passport number. Yeah, that number, you fill it in. Next thing, you will need the 
passport photos make sure you have the right dimensions the correct size so you'll put in you'll be the system will prompt you to put your passport picture something very important for you to note is the passport picture that you're going to use for your diversity visa application must have been taken six months prior to your application if you use an older picture then you're going to be disqualified sadly so it has to be a recent picture which shows like how you look like yeah we know that's no common knowledge but just make sure your picture is not old and something again very important do not use a picture that you used in previous applications you are going to be disqualified so if you applied for green card the year before and you did not win take that picture and discard it tear it into small pieces and just throw it away then take a new picture and make your application do not use a picture that you used for previous green card applications to apply why because you'll get disqualified next you'll do the mailing address very simple the system will just prompt you so you'll have something like in care of address line one address line two city town district and something like that next you'll need to fill in the country where you live today at the time you're making your application in which country do you reside fill in that space then you will need to key in your phone number but keying in your phone number is optional you can choose to put in your phone number or you can choose not to it's optional next thing you'll put in your email address just make sure that the email address you're going to use is an email address which you have access to at least until the following year around may when the results come out you need to be able to access that email okay so if you're someone who will go to a cyber and then ask someone to open you know like create for you an email and then they create an email for you then you don't write it down and then come next year people are checking out for results and you cannot access your email i think that will be super unfortunate Next thing we're looking at the highest level of education. How much did you go to school? Are you a graduate, high school or diploma holder or something like that? Education, how educated are you? So you fill in that information. Current marital status, are you married or are you single? And if you're married, you need to be in a legal marriage. Like you went to an attorney or you went to church and then their signatures, whatever. Forget the rings, the rings are not important, but do you have a certificate of marriage, a valid one? So if you're legally married, write down there that you're married. But if you're doing a come with stay and then you're adding the details of this person whom you're doing come with stay with, you put their details in your profile, you're going to be disqualified. So it has to be a legal marriage. Your true husband. Number of children. Do you have two children? Do you have three? Do you have five? Do you have eight children? Your own children. Put down their names. And if you're married, if your spouse has a child somewhere, whom he or she got with somebody somewhere, somewhere, <laughs> whom he or she got with someone somewhere, whether this child is living with you or not, you have to put in their details. Okay? Just put in their details as long as they are below the age of 21 and they are single. But the thing is, if you have a daughter or a son who is 20 years old and they are married, then they are not eligible. You cannot put in their names. Okay, so who is eligible to apply for diversity visa? You need to be 18 years old and above. And you need to be coming from a country which is eligible. Okay, so again, if you're not sure whether your country is eligible for diversity visa 2023, you're not sure, there's a video down in the description box down below. I've shared a link. You can go check it out and just check to make sure. So now let's talk about requirements of the photograph because the photo is very, very important. And if you're not careful about it, it may just get you disqualified. And then you get disqualified after applying for green card for 10 years you're not winning and then you win and then you're being disqualified just because of a photo so when you take your passport picture the photo the picture must be in color it has to be in focus and it has to be this size right here and it should have been taken within the last six months prior to your application the background should be white or off-white and your picture should be taken in full face view facing the camera and not looking sideways and in your picture you should have a neutral facial expression no smiles no looking just be neutral you're not sad you're not happy you're not smiling you're just being you something like this 
hope I got it right. And as much as you'll have a neutral facial expression, both your eyes should be open. The clothes you'll have worn when you're taking your picture should be clothes that you normally wear on a daily basis. Okay, I don't know how they're going to confirm that, but that is what it is. You cannot wear uniforms or religious attires. Wear ordinary clothing. You're not supposed to wear a hat or cover your head with something that obscures your facial features. Just have your hair. So whether you're braided or whatever, for a man, short hair, but no hat. And in your picture, you cannot have headphones or earphones or anything. You're just supposed to be your face and nothing else. If you're someone who wears glasses like me, just make sure on the day that you're taking your picture, you do not wear your glasses. Make sure you remove them and you take a picture without your glasses on. But the exception is given to those with hearing problems. If you normally use hearing aids then you are allowed to have them on but i think i would suggest if you don't really need to have them on then you can just leave them out but you are allowed to have your earring aids on but not your glasses your picture again should be in the jpeg format it should be square and it should be a 600 by 600 pixels in dimension if you have a picture already and you just need to have it scanned, then make sure that you scan it at a resolution of 300 pixels per inch. Well, that's all we have for this video. If you have any question, remember to comment down below. If you've not liked this video, remember to like it. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing to Aquacode TV. And then we normally do it here. And without forgetting, we're keeping it positive vibes only. And I'm looking forward to seeing all of you in the next one. Bye! Bye. <laughs> Bye.